This is Matthew Prosu with the Jeweler Website Advisory Group. I am in Nice, France. I'm touring around the city, the beautiful city, uh, and the wonderful views. Right here, I am on top of the, the uh, Chateau de Nice, and this typically is a waterfall, but uh, they must have it off for, for uh, cleaning today. Um, uh, while I'm to touring around, I'm actually taking time to stop, record these videos, and answer some questions that have been coming in from the, my Facebook business page of the Jeweler Website Advisory Group, as well as what's been emailed to me directly from my own uh, personal friends on, on Facebook. Our topic of conversation is all based around uh, jewelry uh, stores and marketing for jewelry stores on the internet. So uh, internet marketing, search engine optimization, all jewelry related. I have a question here from Let's see, on my iPad, this one comes in from uh, uh, Lee Krumholtz from Krumholtz Jewelers in Cincinnati, Ohio in the United States. He asks, any suggestions on how to get other websites to link to your website? Is there a certain website that someone should target that is weighted more heavily in the search engine? Is there a hot subject that might be of more interest to other websites? All right, uh, Lee, the first thing I suggest is having uh, a built-in feature on your website that allows people to easily share to Facebook or to share to Twitter. Now, these are going to be in the form of, let's say, a Twitter tweet button and a Facebook share button and a, a Facebook comment box or a Facebook like button. And if you have those built into every single one of the pages on your website, that will incent people to go ahead and share these, these things socially. Uh, the other thing that you should do is have your website create a, an ability that you can grab a permalink for every single one of the pages on your website. Now this is especially important if you have a blog website because a lot of the blog URLs end up being extremely long. And you don't want somebody to have to copy and paste a really long blog URL. Instead it would be nice to just give them a permalink which is usually just your domain name, a slash, and some number after it and it will redirect to the blog post. So those, those uh, permalinks also could be good to incent people to share. Now, once those features are in place, uh, it will incline people more to, to share them, as I, as I said. Now, as for um, the sites that you'd like to know that, that uh, would be good to, better to get links to you, you could go out and you could ask sites, uh, maybe your local newspaper or maybe your chamber, chamber of commerce, uh, any local organization, uh, that you are a member of, you get links from. You know, if you are a member of a networking group in the United States, actually worldwide, BNI is a worldwide uh, uh, local networking organization. If you're a member of a BNI group, you can get a link from the BNI websites. Those are usually pretty valuable. If you are also, if you're in the States and you're a member of a LATIP group, the LATIP links are usually pretty valuable. So any one of these any one of these business groups that you are a member of you should be able to get links from. Oh also if you are a member of any jewelry buying group see if you can get on their from a membership page a link to your website. Um, so those are just some things I, I could think of off the top of my head. Now as far as developing some of uh, your own links you should write some articles on jewelry and you should post them to the website ezinearticles.com. And this is a really good way to get links, and this is one of the strategies we use when people pay us to build links for them. We write articles, we post it there, and every single time you, you post an article, it has to be an informational article of some uh, reputable topic, and the, your signature in there will generate links back to your website. We've seen this time and time again. It has really good uh, Google value as well as people do click those links to find out more about you. And I say use a jewelry topic because people are going to click, find out, uh, or they're going to read a topic or an article that you wrote about jewelry and then click and go back to your primary business website. So that's what you want to use that for. The content on your website should be uh, about about jewelry, gener generally jewelry on your website. If you want to add a blog to your website, then any post that you put on your own website should be related to maybe press release that your vendors have had or maybe a red carpet event or a celebrity. If a celebrity was spotted wearing a piece of jewelry that you typically carry in your store, then you can post something about that celebrity on your website. And that's the kind of thing that people would go out and search for. They'll search for a celebrity name and the search engines will, will feed back to a, a potential uh, customer uh, your website because you mentioned the celebrity. So that will that will build inbound links for uh, directly for your website. 
Uh, the other thing you asked me about was, you know, are there any hot topics that you could talk about? Now, if you want to create a hot topic website, I would strongly urge you to create a completely separate website than your business website. Have it be a personal website. And this way you can kind of keep, keep it away from uh, anything uh, business related. Now, that's because if you end up in, in, in a, uh, uh, a hot topic situation, you don't want your business to be related to it. You also uh, don't want the search engines to confuse the value of your website, which is jewelry, to the value of a blog, which may have a hot topic on it. So if you want to have a hot topic web website, then create another blog and set it up uh, and have the signatures from each one of your blog posts then link over to your business, uh, your business site. Now, topics you could talk about could be political, they could be entertainment, they could be world events, they could be humanitarian. Uh, I would really recommend staying away from political conversations or t political debates on your own uh, on your own uh, blog unless you're going to include both points of view and then just kind of let your your commenters um, go ahead and and create a commotion but if you choose one political side or another you will alienate the other uh, people in your own area that have a different political point of view so if you are going to touch on political make sure you have an uh, even conversation or as some of my friends would say just kind of throw a grenade uh, on, on a topic and see and see what happens but in terms of humanitarian that is usually a, a good a good topic to talk about and we'll gather links for for uh, uh, from other people and it will be found in search engines now all these links you're gathering on this separate hot topic blog that you've created we, they will build the page rank for the blog. Now, in turn, each one of your posts are linking back to your website. So you're gathering all of the all of the linking power that is coming in from from these hot topics that are linking to your that website, and you are then exchanging them for a single link that is going to your website. So your blog is going to build up page rank credibility and authority, and then you're going to be sharing that with your business site. So that's how you can that's how you can uh, take that strategy. And. I think that uh, that covers the topic for now. If you'd like any more information about this or any other jewelry-related online marketing strategy, please visit the Jeweler Website Advisory Group online at jwag.biz. That's J-W-A-G dot B-I-Z. I'm Matthew Perosi. I'll see you next time.